Hi, Kelly. This is the house on Santa Monica Avenue. It is a corner lot. I am going to do a little pan of the neighborhood. All these houses were built in 22 and 23. So this is a very nice new completed subdivision. As you can see, all the houses in this section are also one level homes. So you don't have to worry about a two story overlooking your backyard. Front. The other side here for you as well. Got a little side gate here from the front. It goes through the backyard. This is a very nice oversized lot as well. And we'll go up into the uh, front door, front area. This nice curb up here, feel. This was an upgrade from the builder with the stonework on the front of the house for the accents. You have a little covered entryway when you come from the outside. So if your family or friends are ringing the doorbell, they're not standing in the rain when it rains here. So when you come through the door, right up front here, you have a spare bedroom, a spare bathroom, and a second spare bedroom. So we'll go into the first spare bedroom. Comes with all the blinds, ceiling panes in all the rooms. It has upgraded baseboards. The typical baseboards are the three, three and a half inch baseboards. These are four to five inch baseboards. The doors are all raised panel doors. I apologize. Camera takes a second to adjust. Raised panel doors, they're not the flat doors. Ceilings are all 10 foot ceilings. So you the top, tall room. Carpet in the bedrooms. And throughout all the walkways, you'll have tile. Let the camera readjust here. There it goes. It's like the second bedroom, they removed the carpet and put in laminate. It's laminate plank flooring. So the camera's probably going to want to readjust because of the light. Same thing here. Ceiling fans in all the rooms. It's a very clean house. It's only one, one year old. As we were talking on the phone, uh, this uh, first spare bathroom is right up here between the two spare bedrooms, which is good for guests. It's a full bathroom, tub shower unit. As far as the age of this, this home is as good if not better than a new home because the small upgrades these folks did themselves like ceiling fans that flooring in the spare bedroom uh, the pool once you get to the back um, so as we come down the hallway the entryway the two bedrooms the spare there's another little uh, cut out cove area which is to your laundry room It's already got the shelves in here as well. The washer and dryer is still here. The folks have vacated, so it is vacant now. And then it's the exits to your garage. Looks like they had painted, painted their uh, concrete. That's great. They installed a water softener, which can run about $2,500 these days. have the gas hot water heater and the gas furnace along with the electrical uh, garage door opener. So off well, that hallway, back this is the area where we just came from. 
from over there. We haven't got there yet. So this hallway here has two more spare bedrooms and a spare bathroom. This is right off the laundry room. Looks like they also, because they mounted the TVs, they could have taken those, but they didn't want to have to repair damage. So they leave those behind. And nice with the new builds, they put the plugins and the cable connections, if you use cable still, up high so the wires are not going all up and down the walls. And then the hallway I came down, laundry room on the right, uh, the other full bathroom. They did a color upgrade when they bought this with the cabinets. They're gray throughout and also gray in the kitchen, which is a very nice end thing for the neutral these days. The fourth spare bedroom, they're all very similar in size. I would say they're uh, 12 by 12, 11 by 11. Again, all the blinds, ceiling fans, and so now I am going to go back past the laundry room there on my right. Here's our front entryway where we came in. And we're going to continue down the hall, which will be into the kitchen and the uh, living area. So here at the kitchen's edge, you have the kitchen on this side and then your dining area. This is a very big dining area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twelve feet long. So you could put a nice size dining room table in there. Some of the things they did themselves was they added the wallpaper with the chair rail. They left the decorative mirror behind, which is nice. Directly across from that is the kitchen. So it's a very open concept living. That's a pantry there. I'll open that for you. Uh, the backsplash, which the buyers probably either paid the builder to add that or added that themselves. Uh, I know they don't come with the can lights like in the dining area there, which matches these over the kitchen counter. They have all the appliances. It is a gas stove as well, the microwave. The refrigerator is still here. Technically, it's personal property, but since it's still here, I'm assuming the refrigerator and the washer and dryer will be staying with the uh, property. The pantry is a small walk-in, but as you can see, plenty of shelving and lots of storage. It's a good-sized pantry. You need to look at the they're black and stainless the appliances. Uh, I'm assuming since these all match that they probably did the appliance package when they bought the property. And it has the dishwasher here as well. A small island, a couple seats. Sit there for breakfast, whatever. The door poles generally don't come unless they bought that as an upgrade as well or they added it themselves. And then, uh, as I said, this will be the master bedroom here. But I want to get this angle from this side to show you the open concept from your kitchen to your living area. Ceiling fans again, all updated. Has the nice can lights throughout for plenty of lighting. It's a very nice looking home, it really is. I'm gonna to go to the other corner of the, oh, there, there for, there's, for your little puppy. They actually already have a dog door. It is right off the island in the living room. It goes directly into the backyard. And they got it closed off, so it has a, a partition that you slide in and out. Mm -hmm. There's the back patio door that goes to the back. Again, they left the mount for the living room, for the TV as well. And so you can get an idea is uh, past the refrigerator down there to the uh, front door and the areas that we've already covered. 
So now I'm going to go to the master, and then we'll go out to the backyard. Carpet in this bedroom as well. Uh, they closed on this in March of 2023. So who knows what happened, but they have the accent walls in the living room. The accent wall in here too. They did a good job and it's a nice color scheme. Uh, it has a separate walk-in closet in the master bedroom, which is a very good size walk-in closet. Up high shelving, plenty of room in there. And then the other side over there is the bathroom itself. Sorry, the camera keeps fuzzing out. So into the bathroom. Tile in the bathroom. All the wet areas will have tile. The same gray on the uh, cabinets. Double sinks. The updated fixtures. This is a small cook or um, linen closet for your towels and stuff for your bathroom. There's five shelves in there. The commode. And they let the shelf on the wall. It's very attractive too. You can also place knickknacks on. In the master, it is a walk in shower, which is kind of convenient. People are steer steering away from a tub unit in the master, unless they have a tub and shower. So that is a full length shower, and the wire, wider is a tub shower unit. So, okay, let's go out to the back. This is an oversized lot. I'll share that with you. Covered patio. They do have a ceiling fan out here. This covered patio was probably 18 feet long. They did the cool decking, even on the patio when they put the pool in. Cool decking helps with the heat uh, as far as when you're walking on it. Start to the side of the house here. As you can see, that's the gate that I was talking about in the front. They put, put in a couple little garden areas. And then those look like some sort of fruit trees. But it is a very pool itself. They have a waterfall, rock waterfall. Right beside it, they have artificial grass, which is very nice. And I'll walk to the back corner. When we get to those center blocks with their rise, it's 10 feet. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet wide. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 feet wide. 70 feet wide. Now I'm behind the tree. Look at the side. I just want to get you the angles here. Kind of pie shaped so it's narrower in the front in the yard than the back the back's wider than the front is and again it's more a lot so you have no neighbors on the west side over here it is north south facing artificial grass from the other side the uh, covered patio and that pool that pool is less than a year old because there's no way it was built when they built the house. We'll walk over the pool equipment because they did add a heater here. And your AC unit is down this side too as well. With the new houses, they all come with all the energy efficiencies, uh, the low E windows, the ACs have the new Freon in them, insulation. This pool 
wood for me. It's barely been used. Barely been used. Get that for you. And I guess that is somewhere between five and ten thousand dollars. Okay, I will get this video off to you and you can let me know your thoughts.